Honourable President of the Pensacani Groundhog Club. to make mention of. First of all, Senator Joe Pittman, Representative Brian Smith, Commissioners Jeff Basarczyk and Scott North, our Mayor Richard Alexander, of course our Attorney General Michelle Henry, and the Governor of Pennsylvania. He keeps showing up and we keep loving him. As for my buddies in the top hats, I want to start over here because he's been on stage with me since 3 a.m. Give it up. He's gone through at least two tuxedo shirts already today. Give it up for the Thunder Conductor, Dr. Dave Giovanni. This is the Butch and Butch part of the show. First up, former member, Cole Front, Butch Bruchnock. And the other Butchie, you can be his wingman, no, he can be yours. This is Iceman, Butch Felimer. <laughs> Give it up for the big man, Rob McCoy, downpour. <laughs> Josh Farkas is frostbite. It's fitting that we say hello to Jory Sirian. He's Daybreaker. <laughs> Robbie Gemmel is Storm Builder. <laughs> the guy standing way up there is Dr. John Johnson, Chief Health Man. Also with us this morning was Jason Grusky, Big Chill. Well, he's seated at the left hand of the father. The future is clear, but Jay Lundy is overcast. <laughs> Former president, give it up for Jeff Lundy, fair weather man. <laughs> Pat Cassidy is the head huntsman. And Pat Osako, it's ozone. And I know you've been waiting patiently, so for our ceremony, give it up. Your friend, our friend, his handler, Mr. A.J. DeRoom, Rainmaker! <laughs> and heavy weighs the Acacia Cane, the president of the Groundhog Club Inner Circle, is Tom Dunkel, Jingle Shaker!
is handed down from president to president. My father once held this very cane as president of the Inner Circle. This cane gives me the ability to speak groundhog ease. That's how I communicate with Phil, through winks, nods, purrs. And Phil's going to let me know which scroll to choose. Now I'm going to talk a little bit about what's going to happen up here today. I'm going to take this cane and I'm going to knock on the borough door three times. And his handler, A.J. Darum, will gently lift Phil from his burrow and hold him high for all to see. He will then place Phil upon the stump where Phil and I will have a little talk about whether he sees his shadow or not. If it's his shadow, he sees. Six more weeks of winter there will be. <laughs> if there's no shadow, early spring. Daybreaker, please place the royal red carpet. Mr. Vice President, please place the scrolls upon the stump. Gentlemen, are you ready? Are you ready? It's a tradition. Before we get Phil out, we get him fired up by chanting, Phil, 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 Phil. It's Punxsutawney Phil! <laughs> Gentlemen, gather round. We have a decision. A prediction has been made, Mr. President. <laughs> hear ye, hear ye. Now on this February 2nd, Punxsutawney Phil, the seer of seers, prognosticator of all prognosticators, was awakened from his wintry nap at dawn on Gobbler's Knob. Phil looked to the skies and then, speaking in groundhog ease, directed the president to the proper scroll, which reads, Another winter's slumbered pause so I could meet the crowd. Hard to sleep anyway when the party's this loud. I envy your energy. I envy the fun. I envy all of you and your opposable thumbs. But it's not what I feel, it's what I see and what you hear, so gather round and let me be clear. Atmosphere is a wonderful thing, and we can create our own and the weather it brings. It brings hope for the future and so much more. Maybe some Punxsutawney Phil write-in votes in 2024. But what this weather did not provide 
is a shadow or reason to hide. Glad tidings all.